Hi, I hope you're having a good evening tonight. Um, I've had some things on my mind this week that I have been uh, talking to different people about and talking to different people who have a heart, a heart to help others specifically. And so I wanted to have this little heart to heart with you tonight. If you're somebody who has a desire to help other people uh, in some way, maybe help people through hard things to create a better life for themselves. Maybe you're going to help them with their financial situation or their relationships or with their children or with the ailments that they're dealing with or, you know, their health or any kind of thing like that, that where you're helping them get through something difficult because you've been through something difficult. There's a lot of people out there that have been through hard things and then they want to go help other people get through those same challenges. If you're somebody like that, who is in a place where you're going through something difficult and it feels like you're being tested on the very thing that you're here to teach. Like for example, let's say that you usually help people with their financial situation and you nothing that you're doing is working. You've had a financial challenge hit you, you know, and maybe your usual things that you use techniques and ideas you use just don't seem to be working. And it's, it's like the laws were suspended and it's just not working for you anymore. This happens quite frequently for anybody who's got something important to share with the world. So why does this happen? what's going on? Why does it feel like that? Let me just kind of share with you a little bit of my own story, specifically over the last decade, I guess, have been helping people with those kind of messages to share what I call light bearers, people who have messages of freedom to share with other people. And I went through my own experience of feeling like everything that I had been teaching people didn't work anymore. I was hit bottom. I went through, two divorces, lost two homes, lost my car stopped working, my computer crashed, my mother died all within a, you know, like a five year period, all this stuff all happened. Most of it happened all at the end, all together simultaneously. Through the process, I just really started to doubt myself and I started to doubt the inspiration I'd received and wondered, you know, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I was in this place of where everything fell apart. It was not working anymore. I thought, what is wrong? I am broken, you know, or either that or the laws of nature have suspended somehow and they don't work for me anymore. And I want to talk to you about why that happens, why we get to that place where it just all seems to fall apart. And I use a, an analogy in my life, the world, how your brilliance can shift the planet book where we go through this cycle and it's like taking, let me show you, I got some rocks here. Okay, it's like taking a, a piece of quartz, this kind of um, just a big chunk of it that's been taken, hewn out of a rock and mountainside maybe or something like that. And you might work on it till it's white, kind of white. And then, um, then it gets a little bit clear is the next phase. And then it can become almost transparent. I don't know if you can tell that on here, but this one's about transparent. And then it gets really super transparent, you might shape it into something like this and it will shine. It will reflect the light and refract the light. And it, you know, it's really beautiful and can spread the light around the room and all the different colors and things. So we kind of go through this process. If we're out there sharing a message with the world where we're taken out of some situation, taken out of our lives, God takes us out of whatever situation we've been through in the past, you know, we'll go through something difficult and it'll take you to that white point, which is like the white flag of surrender. Like I give up, I give up. This is hard. And you come to Christ and he helps you through this hard thing that you're going through. As he does that, then you get more clarity on who you are and what you're here to do and how you're supposed to show up in the world and how, what he has for you to do. And then the next phase of it is you're Usually once you're out there, I feel like you're, oh yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I'm helping people. I feel like I'm doing what I'm here to do. Something will hit you that just really might like feel like somebody's shoving your face into the earth and saying, okay, figure out a way out of this, you know, while there's a boot in your back and your face is in the dirt and everything's falling apart and nothing seems to work. 
And that is what I call the transparency phase. When you get to that place where he's trying to get all the black blobs off your glowing ball of light here. He's wanting to get rid of all the impurities, all those last things. It's a purifying process. It's a, there's something about suffering that purifies us. There's a, there's a verse in Romans that comes to mind. I was thinking about this. And I want to share this verse with you. It's Romans 8, 16 through 17. The Spirit itself beareth witness that with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So we're his children. We're joint heirs. And there's this suffering that's part of it. We're suffering alongside Christ in some way. So there's some value in suffering. Now you don't have to see suffering as suffering. You know, there are ways to look at it where, you, but you go through some kind of a pain in your life that purifies you and sanctifies you. And, and then by the time you come out of that and he rescues you out of this place, when you finally surrender to him, when you get to that point of surrender, he rescues you at this point. And then you know, you know, it's like you're touched by the finger of the Lord and you shine because he has transformed you in some way. You come out the other side knowing that God lives, knowing that Jesus is the Christ. You know it in the depths of your bones and nobody can tell you any differently. And you trust him explicitly because you've been through everything and you can see how it all worked together for your good. And you can see that it was all for a reason. And everything you gained, all that clarity, all that transparency that you gained in the process was worth any price that you went through to get there. He talks about in the next verse after that, the glory far outweighs the suffering. If you're in a place where everything feels like it's falling apart like that, don't give up. Somebody told me uh, recently that when they felt they were in that place, they felt like they were broken or that God had somehow pulled them out of the game, so to speak, you know, like, oh, I'm, I'm getting you out of the game. You're not playing in the game anymore. It's not that. It's not that at all. If you feel like you're not in the game anymore, it may be that he's just cleaning you up. You know, he's just letting you rest a little bit. He's letting you work on some things and work through some things and he's polishing you up so he can put you in for the most pivotal quarter of the game where it really matters. You know, you are a important person. If you're going through something very, very difficult that's testing you on the very thing that you're teaching other people, it's a chance to dive back into your material, look at what you're missing, see the, the gaps and feel and experience what the people you're going to help are experiencing. Because that's, Really, that's why Christ came to earth and died and suffered and lived in the flesh. is so he could literally experience and suffer what we would suffer. And in Gethsemane and everything, that's that process that he went through of experiencing what we are experiencing allows him to save us. And as we suffer, there's something in the suffering of going through something and coming out the other side and being able to testify with power and authority that Christ lives, that God lives, that he will take care of you, that he will keep his promises. In that process, you become someone that other people will listen to and they can trust you because they know you've been there. You've done that. And there's this rapport there. And it's like a, it's a mini type if you will, of the Savior's sacrifice. He did this huge sacrifice for all of us. That's why we can trust him with our problems, with our challenges. That's why he has the compassion and the empathy that he does. And so when you go through something difficult and you obtain that same kind of firsthand knowledge of what it is the people you're here to help are suffering, you can have the empathy and the compassion. And you can also you can do the tough love too, because you can tell them, hey, you know, hang in there. It's going to work out. And you can testify of Christ and of God's love for them in a way that nobody else can. You're being uniquely shaped to help other people through your suffering. So if you're in that space, know that you're going to make it out the other side. You're fine. He's got you. It's going to work out. I can testify to that. It's going to work out fine. 
and you're going to have so much more knowledge and understanding and trust in God on the other side. Your faith is going to be that of someone who sees the finger of the Lord in everything in your life. You're going to see his hand in everything every day when you come out the other side. And that is a priceless, priceless gift to have. Remember, if you're going through tough stuff, you're one of the most valuable players on the team, okay? He's helping you become this great person who is a joint heir with Christ, who has suffered alongside him in this great cause of saving the souls of his children. So don't let it get you upset. <laughs> just kind of look at where you are in the process. I think sometimes just knowing where you are in that process of becoming where you're molten or hewn out of the rock and then white and clear and transparent and then shine. When you know where you are in that process, it gives you your bearings. It helps you know, okay, I understand that this has to be this way for a while, but there is hope at the end of the tunnel. You're going to shine very brightly at the end. He's got you. So those are my thoughts for tonight. I just felt like I have been through so much and seen so much of Heavenly Father's love and kindness. I wouldn't want anybody to suffer around in darkness thinking that God kind of shelved them or put them out of the game or doesn't need them anymore, or that they're too broken to be used. That's not the case. If you have a heart to help other people, he loves you. He's helping you do that, even when it looks completely hopeless. And if it looks like it's no way it can ever work out, that everything's falling apart, that there is just no hope of anything being fixed, I guarantee you he can fix it. And he will. Just keep turning to him. He will not let you down. Y'all take care. God bless.